The Internet of Things is a reality. You probably have a few devices at home. I'm your Google Assistant. This device is a 10 euro computer. It has limitations but is cheap. When many of these work together, new ways of interaction with the world are possible. Let's see an example of an IoT system. This is my robot arm bartender. It illustrates some aspects typical of the IoT. I just sent a command from an Android tablet to an IoT device. The message could have been sent from the other side of the world. And, thanks to open standards, devices can interact with each other. But, not everything is nice in the IoT. Meet... an attacker. He will work relentlessly to penetrate your system. And guess what? He will succeed. <laughs> and the consequences could be catastrophic. Wait, let's see what happened in a little bit more detail. Imagine that a chessboard is a battlefield. Each piece is a resource. And our system is the whites. The attacker plays with black. He has less resources and he doesn't know how to win yet. But the dimension of time is on his side. Because historically, computer systems are static. White rarely moves. The goal of my work is to make the match harder for the attacker. But as things stand, eventually, the attacker wins. To rebalance the game, I use a paradigm called the moving target defense. Like the fire of Heraclitus, our system resources are now in perpetual change. Now, it's not such an easy match for the attacker. It has to reevaluate his whole plan every time our system moves. And it will move a lot. Time is on our side now, and hopefully, the attacker will resign. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, I cannot share with you my main results because they haven't been published yet. However, I have something different to offer you, at least something prettier, that fits very nicely into the moving target defense paradigm. Hello, I'm Heidi Lamar, Hollywood actress and inventor. Before me, information transported on radio waves only used a fixed central frequency. This central frequency is called the carrier. The carrier is like a road and information transported is like cars. Blocking the road is a straightforward attack on the system. This has a given cost for the attacker. What if our system has two roads for cars to travel? The attacker needs to block both and that will cost him double. What if there are 100 roads? Hopefully, there is a price the attacker can't afford to pay. Inspired by music, I proposed what is now called frequency hopping. The carrier is chosen according to a pre-established order. That order is like a melody that only sender and receiver know, but not the attacker. The Internet of Things is becoming a bigger part of our lives. It is present in the public transport we use in our cities, in the soil that grows, the food we will eat, and even in our houses. IoT systems allow for new ways of interaction with the world, for good and for evil. I work to make these systems reliable for the use they were conceived for, I hope, while maintaining transparency, for the people involved in their uses, like me and you. Because, for the IoT, the sky is not even a limit.